Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to be going over all of the weather item locations in Coromon. Now what these items do is extend weather effects from five to eight turns, not too dissimilar from what you'd expect from the weather extending items from Pokemon. Now there is more than one location for each, but for this guide, we're going to be going over one of each as I honestly can't see a whole lot of use having two of them on the same team. And I'll likely go over them in a sort of mega every item location video in the future. But with that said, let's dive in. Okay, so first things first, make sure you have the drill. Silver or gold doesn't really matter. Check out this video for more information on that. Then head over to Pawbury. Right in the middle of town, if you use a drill, you can get the item related to the twilight weather effect. Next, if you head over to the pyramid in Darudic, you'll be able to find the sandstorm related item by digging as well. Thirdly, head over to a lavi and just follow my character all the way until you find a gold chest containing the hail extended item. It'll take a little bit, just watch. And finally, last but not least, head over to Ixquin Ruins and go back into the submerged tunnel. There are actually two in here, but this one is closer. So once you've reached this point, you can dig for the item and you get the rain one. And yeah, that's pretty much it. A quick and simple guide. A special thanks to Rat Dog for the digging locations. I have actually found each of the alternate locations on my own during my playthroughs, but the digging ones were completely new to me and are much more convenient in my opinion. All that said, if you are a Coromon or a Monster Taming fan, don't forget to subscribe for more and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.